Hello science folks! We're here to talk about sea breezes and land breezes and their relation to specific heat. So when you go to Lake Michigan in early June on a day when it's 90 degrees outside, it's blazing hot, and you're with your friend Thor, as you walk out on the beach you're going to notice something. That sand is hot! Sand will be 90 degrees as well. It has a very low specific heat of 0.29 joules per gram degree Celsius. So as soon as the air is 90 degrees, the sand's probably going to be 90 degrees as well. It's really hot. Now, if you dig your feet in a little bit, you'll find cold sand under there. But that top layer is going to be hot. Now, that's in comparison to the water. Even though it's 90 degrees outside, the water is not 90 degrees. It just doesn't go right up. It's going to be probably about 50 degrees, which is really cold. That's because the water has a very high specific heat of 4.184 joules per gram degree Celsius. This very high specific heat prevents the water from heating up too quickly or cooling down too quickly. So we have a situation where Thor may think the sand is hot, but when he jumps in the water, he's going to be shocked by the temperature. Uh, this hot area over here is actually going to cause the air to go up. As the air gets hot, hot air always rises. That creates a low pressure system. And as that air rises, it does not just create a vacuum of space for Thor to suffocate in. In fact, what will actually happen is the cool air over top of the sea or Lake Michigan will rush in to fill its place. With these temperatures being so dramatically different, this low pressure system is going to be pretty extreme. And it's not just the sand. You also talk about the houses, the roads. They also have low specific heats, causing lots of low pressure over top of the land and all of the wind to move in. As that takes place, you'll create a cycle of current. Um, this is going to be our high pressure system then in comparison. And Thor's flowing locks will be flying back behind him. And that's why you've noticed whenever you've gone to Lake Michigan in the early summer, it's crazy windy. It's all due to those differences in specific heats. We also call this a sea breeze. We name winds from where they're coming from. This is coming from the sea or the lake. So it's a sea breeze. Now, sometimes you go back out to the lake at night. At night, it's cooled down. It's 47 degrees. Now, the sand is probably also going to be 47 degrees, and Thor is going to be saying, oh, my goodness, my feet are cold. And as Thor runs into the water, he's going to realize the water has cooled down a little bit too, but actually it won't feel cool. The water will actually kind of feel warm. That's because you're comparing it to the sand. The water at 49 is slightly warmer than the sand, so it, again, feels warmer. The water didn't cool down as much because, again, it cools down and heats up very, very slowly due to its high specific heat. Now, what will happen, even though this census is slightly warmer, the air over top of it will rise up, creating ourselves um, wind to flow in from where Thor is at, pulling his hair slightly, not as much as before. It's not flowing as much. We have now a low pressure system over top of the sea, and we'll end up with a high pressure system over the land. Again, these temperature differences are not extreme, so it's a small breeze. It's not big gusty winds or anything like that. We name this one a land breeze because the wind is coming from the land heading out to the sea. Now, sometimes you head out to the lake at just the perfect time. Temperature of the air, temperature of the water, temperature of the sand, they're all the same. And in those situations, you're going to realize there are no high pressure or low pressure systems at all. In these situations, because of that, you're going to end up with no breeze. And you've probably been to the beach in the evening or early in the morning when it's very, very calm. In fact, water skiers love to water ski early in the morning or in the late evening. Why? Because as the temperatures become similar, you lose those local winds, those land breezes and sea breezes, and you end up with calm, still water. And again, all this is in relation back again to when we're dealing with the specific heat of the water being extremely high and the specific heat of the land and the sand and the roads and the houses being very low.